Morning world, it's 10 past 9, it's the 5th of May 2013. It's a void moon today, moon's at the end of Taurus, there's not a lot going to be happening over the coming 14 hours. So I'm, have, I'm doing a set of mini series again, I think. I'm going to be looking at the planets in the sky. I'm not going to be doing all of them yet. I haven't got time or energy, so it's going to have to be random. But seeing as it's the one that's hammering me most at this moment, I'm going to talk about Pluto. Pluto took the underworld when the firmament was split up between the gods. Pluto took the unconscious, the subconscious, the unknowable, the dark, Hades. And for those that doubt Pluto's efficiency and effectiveness, simply ask any of your friends born in the last 10 days of June, December, March or September about how the effects of the last five or six years have brought such a degree of intensity and extremism into their lives. How can Pluto work? We don't know. It's smaller than our moon and it's four billion miles away and we're not even sure what it's made of. It appears to be some type of white substance, much as its moons around it seem to be somewhat dark. There seems to be a carbon and silicon thing here. We don't know, but the new satellite that's been sent up there will tell us soon enough. I'm not going to scare you straight off by doing the difficult side of Pluto, because Pluto in a bad way can be really bad. And I'm not going to patronise you either by doing just the good sides. I'll do the neutral side of Pluto first. Pluto deals with purging and cleansing and elimination and detoxification and clearing. It is where you cut your losses. It is the scalpel that comes down in a laser-like swoop that just cuts and destroys and kills and brings things to an end. Pluto at a neutral level symbolizes you going into your cave, into your deepest recesses, into your dark, and looking at and living alongside and being with your own psychological roots, fears, foundations, bases, joys, living at the primal level, getting in touch with your base core internal basic urges and acknowledging them, being with them. Often when people are in a difficult place, I say to them, OK, this is the difficult, this is the hardest time of a Pluto transit. You're at rock bottom. So whilst you're down there, get the scouring pad out. Pluto is the one that when you think it can't hurt anymore, then pulls out the scouring pad and rakes up all of the old poison. But better out than in, better dealt with and acknowledged than suppressed and repressed where it can turn cancerous or poisonous. Our own psychological relationships with ourselves are basically the core point for our launch into the outside world. If our relationship with our own internal psychological psychology isn't good, then nothing else is going to be good. So these people that walk around the place living in fear, living in denial, scared of their dark side, scared of their shadow, scared of what they could do or might be, you're doing yourself and the world a big disservice. Get in there, face your dark. It's nowhere near as bad as you might think it is. Fear of being afraid is much worse than the actual subject matter itself. It's always the initial fear that's worse than the thing you actually think you're scared of. Pluto at the neutral level encourages you to refine, to purify through some type of deep cleanse, some deep purging, almost emetic. It is about the recycling of, of matter. It is about getting all of the poison out and clearing oneself so that, one so that one becomes clean and pure. And it is a lifetime process with Pluto, constantly regurgitating the old. Tomorrow, maybe later tonight, I'll look at the negative side of Pluto. You thought that was bad, you wait till the negative. But then I'll bring in the positives as well. Pluto is not all bad news, I assure you. Catch you later, bye.